Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Archie and Lilibet do have the right to style themselves HRH after the death of their great-grandmother the Queen, despite claims to the contrary by Meghan Markle last year. The children of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are now princes and princess, respectively thanks to a little-known edict issued by King George V, the Queen's own grandfather, more than a century ago. The revelation directly contradicts remarks by Meghan in her explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021. Specifically, Meghan spoke of her pain at Archie being denied a royal title. However, her suggestion that Archie had been deliberately excluded is not borne out by the facts as set out in a legal instrument known as a letters patent issued by George V. on November 30, 1917. Specifically, this states that the children of any sovereign of these realms and the children of the sons of any such sovereign and the eldest living son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales shall have and at all times hold and enjoy the style, title, or attribute of Royal Highness with their titular dignity of prince or princess prefixed to their respective Christian names or with their other titles of honor. In effect, with the Queen's son becoming King Charles I.D., his grandchildren, including Archie and baby sister Lilibet, automatically became princes or princesses. The proclamation also says the grandchildren of the sons of any such sovereign in the direct male line shall have and enjoy in all occasions the style and title enjoyed by the children of dukes of these our realms, I, lord or lady, before their Christian name. Furthermore, save as aforesaid the style title or attribute of royal highness, highness or serene highness, and the titular dignity of prince or princess shall not henceforth be assumed or borne by any descendant of any sovereign of these realms. Speaking to the talk show host in an interview screened by CBS on March 7, 2021, and on ITV in the UK the following day, Meghan denied any attachment to what she called the grandeur of royal titles. However, she said her concern was related to the idea of our son not being safe, and also the idea of the first member of color in this family not being titled in the same way that other grandchildren would be. The only way Meghan and Harry's children could be prevented from having royal titles would be if King Charles I. Lee was to amend the letter's patent to stop them from doing so. Meghan and Harry stopped using their own HRA styles after stepping back as frontline royals and moving to the United States at the start of 2020. When Archie was born, he could have been afforded the honorary title of Earl of Dumbarton or Lord Archie Mountbatten Windsor. Instead, the royal couple opted for plain master Archie Mountbatten Windsor. Harry himself has spoken in the past of the burden of having a royal title, claiming his time in the British Army, during which he was known simply as Harry, was the best escape I've ever had. Also during the Oprah interview aired when the Queen's husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, was unwell in hospital, Harry spoke of his respect for his grandmother. So what do you think guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.